Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. So today we are going to be talking about my version of this tier list for One Punch Man World, but it's not a tier list. It is a position list or usage list, and I'll explain why I'm making it this way and why it makes more sense than what has been put on the internet so far. So for one, all the tier lists I've seen on the internet, including my homeboy Rokage's, are rough. They are not polished. They have been like just very, very bad tier lists in my opinion. They just like one Rokage, you did it justice. You actually did Snack justice. You gave him the respect he deserved. But freaking every everything else is like it's a little shaky. It's just absolutely shaky. But this is not what we're talking about. We're not talking about which characters are going to be useful, which characters are better than others, because genuinely, every character is good. Now, there's some characters that actually play positions. That's the way this game works, is there's positions to be played. And the thing is, uh, this is like, this is genuinely the way that you're supposed to make these kind of lists, because this is a team-based game. It's four-man. Now, if you said specifically, hey, this is a tier list for hot battle characters that are really good at hot battle, then obviously uh, freaking Snack could be at the top of the list because freaking, you know, one, I beat it with Snack, and you can see that I have it in my guide videos. And if you guys don't understand how to build your teams or anything like that, just go check out my guide videos. I got plenty of them. They're freaking all about the entire game so far. Uh, I'm thinking about doing one about Abyssal, but Abyssal Battles, which is pretty fun. But I'm thinking more of a gameplay one than having that be a guide because it's more self-explanatory. Now, let's get into this. Now, we're going to be talking about these five different positions that can be played. Your gameplay and pretty much like the way that you want to play and stuff like that are going to de be determined by these characters' positionings. And pretty much the way that they play is probably going to be the more... It really just depends on the way you want to play, and I'm going to explain why each of these characters deserve their different positions and why they cannot all be mains, which is something that a lot of people are starting to realize very, very harshly, is that not every character can be used as a mainline character because if a position is not filled, like in a raid in World of Warcraft, you're pretty much dead weight. You're screwed, and you're going to like take a lot of damage because a lot of people... Uh, the, the stats in this game are genuinely, like, pretty close. There's just some characters that do have different stats than others, but it really it is just about positioning and what the AI does, too. Because you have to realize the AI pretty much, like, also can mess up from time to time. And if a character is doing a very, very specific motion, then it's very, very hard for the AI to actually keep up uh, with certain bosses and stuff like that. So, let's get into it. Now, we're going to talk about main characters. Now, characters that pretty much can be a main or an offhand or a switch. Now, what I mean by main characters is these are characters that you must play and must pretty much have full control of the character in order to get its full usage. If the AI has their hands on this character, then this character is going to suffer. It's really going to freaking suffer. You guys don't understand. The AI could really freaking mess up sometimes and get infinite comboed. And then there's some characters that play really, really well support. And I'll talk about that right now. So, for instance, Puri Puri Prisoner. He is a very, very specific main character. This dude is made to be in the front lines. He is made to, like, pretty much parry as much as he can, to dodge out of the way, to play tank, to, re to give back what he just received. He is a very, very freaking amazing tank, probably the best in the game. Now, the problem is... AI messes up on this guy, and it forces him to pretty much take multiple slashes from different enemies unnecessarily. Hence why he needs to be a main. He cannot be a offhand tank. You wish he could, but he could be, but it really just depends on who you're also running. Because, uh, you know, there are some characters who could run Switch, which are very, very useful, or offhand, which can also drag some of that pain away from you. And I'll talk about what those kind of characters are going to be like. For instance, let's go ahead and talk about Stinger. Stinger is a, a great example of what a Switch character is. You could use him as a main character, but the AI could totally handle with this dude's kit. The AI is not going to freak out. They're going to do their thing, and they're pretty much going to handle as much as they could. And this dude's also not a bad character. He's very, very solid as a main character, but he takes a little bit of skill. Now, you know, that's what a Switch is. The AI will not mess this dude up because he has a dodge, not a parry. 
And freaking, let's go ahead and dip into the next one, Tatsumaki. She is a very, 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 very big uh, contender for main character energy because the AI doesn't really run her the way that she's supposed to be ran. The AI will stand in place and it will just start flinging rocks and then call it a day. It will get hit by multiple freaking things within the area and you won't even notice until after she already noticed she lost half of her HP and she has no defensive stats because you put everything into offensive. So obviously this is one of those characters that you need to baby. You need to make sure that she's okay. You need to make sure that she's okay. Because if she's not okay, she's going to get beat up. Unlike her sister, who can actually be pertained as a Switch. Now, she can be a very, very useful Switch character because you can use her as your main. She has really good defensive stats, but she also has really good hardcore combos. And she could be an offhand tank. Now, she's very, very freaking good. So you could either use her as your main character or as your uh, offhand tank that could be supporting you while you're using your main character. You need to have tanks on the front. If you don't have anybody on the front and you're just using Tatsumaki, uh, let's say like ranged Genos, ranged Metal Knight, and you think that you're going to outrange a boss, no, the boss is going to rush you. And then all of a sudden you're going to start losing range characters because the range AI doesn't know how to handle someone who's in their face. All right, now, another good example of a switch, Silver Fang. This dude is really, really good AI-wise and freaking uh, main character-wise because you could use this dude either way. He is a very, very good character. Uh, freaking very solid character, very good front lines character. Definitely doesn't have any real drawbacks besides, like, freaking uh, cooldowns, but that's pretty much it. Like, it's just small, small drawbacks that he also gets potential, and when you do get his potential to, like, six, then you're pretty much, like, unstoppable now let's go ahead and dive into some offhands characters that you could just let them do their own thing and i would say saitama is definitely one of them uh saitama is definitely one of the best offhand tanks in the game because while you're trying to run whatever main character you're trying to run such as like let's just say you, you felt like you felt excited and you wanted to use uh, tatsumaki for the first time well this dude's gonna make sure that they don't get to you He's going to play in the front lines. He's going to go full offensive while he's also playing defensive. His AI barely messes up. <clears throat> and he's an incredible offhand tank. Um, in some cases, Puri Puri could be this guy. But the only problem with Puri Puri Prisoner is that he tends to block too much. And his AI, something about his AI is just really, really messed up right now. And for some reason, if you take him into like certain things like Abyssal Dungeons and certain hardcore content, he'll just start to freeze up and then stand in place and take a lot of damage for no reason. Uh, it's probably going to get patched out, but freaking right now, he's a really good main hand. Uh, Sonic, another good example of a switch, but I would prefer main hand. Now, this is like one of those weird ones because it's like, why would you not want him to be your main hand? It's because you want to be the tank. That's the thing in this case with Sonic, because Sonic's kit is very, very uh, needy. It's a very, very needy kit, which requires him to get all of his damage off as much as possible without, you know, being the front lines guy. And if you got someone like Puri Puri, uh, freaking Saitama, uh, freaking Snack, somebody who could play the front line and really just drag the boss while this dude's kind of doing his thing, he could put off some ridiculous numbers and break the shields pretty fast. But the only problem is, like, if you play him and you're the one running around trying to, like, dodge and everything, then you're you're, you're not really... Well, actually, no. Actually, I'm pretty wrong about that, actually. He could be a switch. Because he also benefits from dodging. But uh, I think that's the only reason why you would really put him in a switch position. I don't see any reason why you can't just put him in straight-up offhand and let him do all the work. Because, let's just say, like, AI, when it comes to, like, a lot of the stuff for this game, is ridiculously good. And if you're just playing main hand, you're fine. Snek. Snek is an amazing offhand main hand character. I would say that he is definitely up there when it comes to potentially perfect mains. You could take this dude into any piece of content, even solo, and he could pretty much solo. Uh, freaking, this dude is that guy. And he's just like Tatsumaki. He's just like Puri Puri. He, these guys do not suffer. 
through needing uh, support or anything like that. These guys can pretty much solo. And that's what makes them a really good main hand as well, is just being able to pretty much hold their own without any drawbacks. The switches could do this too. The only difference is you just kind of want them to do their job as well because as an offhand tank, these guys are required to pretty much take the lean, take some of the pressure off your back, especially if you're playing someone like Tornado who can't take a lot of damage. All right, so we got Saitama here. I don't see uh, really big reasons to use him as your main hand. Uh, I would say that there's more technical characters that you can use to pretty much like uh, Tatsumaki and stuff like that, where Saitama could just be that guy. Because this dude's just a straight brawler. So are both of his forms. They're just straight brawler forms, and they don't really hold a very technical kit. So there's no reason to really use these guys. Like, main hand. You can, but you don't need to, because these guys have the least technical kits in the entire game, and they just do their thing. And I also agree with Mo Moomin Rider. Moomin Raider, awesome freaking frontline tank. He is an awesome offhand tank. He will defend your people without a problem. And if you guys don't know how to build teams, oh, uh, freaking remember, I do have a team guide for that. Uh, let's see. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about Spring Mustachio. This dude's very, very technical, very, very switch-based. Now, he could be your main character, and I ran him for, like, the first beginning of my game. But keep in mind, this dude needs to dodge his ass off in order to get all of his damage off and dodge while he's doing damage. So he's pretty much frontlining the entire time. But if the, you had just let the AI do its thing, this dude's got enough defense to offhand tank as well and just pretty much handle. E-Iron. The problem with this character is that you need to use him as your main. He cannot be an offhand. He cannot be a switch. He can't even support you because his entire kit is based off of parrying. And if this dude can't parry, he sucks. He's absolute doggy doo doo. He's just going to be freaking slapping against the freaking boss the entire time until he gets his ultimate move. Then he freaking uses his ultimate. Then he's done. He's like a nuker, but if you don't give him the ability to like charge up, he's never going to nuke. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dip into range DPS. Uh, Metal Knight. Uh, we got Genos here. We got Golden Ball. Uh, these dudes are just incredibly, incredibly good DPS characters. Uh, freaking, I would say that they're incredibly good because these guys just kind of do their thing on the offhand and let the AI do its thing. Golden Ball is a little bugged out right now. So, I mean, you can't really say this dude's going to really be able to do his job because he has a very broken kit right now that isn't really workable by the average player. But the AI can actually handle his kit. And believe it or not, I would even put Zombie Man in the range DPS category. Now, range DPS offhand or even switch because this dude can do his job without you. I wouldn't re I wouldn't recommend trying to like, you know, uh, unless you want to main this guy. That's totally up to you. But his guns, the second he goes into his second form, he just goes crazy and he does his own thing off to the side. You let him do his thing. He could pretty much stay alive the entire time and just do as much damage as possible. You don't want to build this guy as a tank. You want to build this guy as all DPS, especially crit chance. I mean, this dude could really put off some ridiculous damage, but you don't want to limit this guy, especially if you want to put him in your hands. I mean, I understand some people want to play front line with this guy, but you also need to make sure this dude needs to do his own thing in order for him to do his best. Genos. He is <clears throat> okay at best. I, I wouldn't even consider him like some of the better characters. I would just say like he's okay. Like whenever he's offhanding, he's okay. But whenever he's ranging, he's doing a little better. Uh, but you got to put some potential on this guy or else he's not going to really put out. Uh, he's decent. I would say he's a good offhand because he can be in the front lines. You use him more of a tank than you would with like any type of like gameplay. I would rather use him as a tank than DPS. Uh, freaking, we got Lightning Max. He's a decent switch. This character will pretty much play hooky with and run around, literally annoying the hell out of the boss. This dude's just amazing, <clears throat> very very amazing guy. Uh, freaking Staff Lily. She could also be a switch. She's also a very very clean character. Very, very frontline character, but also could be a very amazing offhand tank. Really save your own ass whenever you're playing like a ranged character. And whenever you want to play technical with Tatsumaki, these are the people you want to look for. These are the people you want defending you. Because if these people ain't defending you, 
then your Tatsumaki is going to die. And we got homeboy on support. Now, <laughs> let's be totally honest. He only has one job. He's not a main hand. He's not an offhand. He's not range DPS. He is the support. He's that guy who shows up anytime you need him, and he's there to build one specific kit, and that's to break shields. If you don't build this dude to break shields or to support your teammates with his special passives, then this dude's going to be useless to you because why would you use him as a main hand DPS? <clears throat> you can build him in DPS. That's his entire kit. But you also want to build the ability to break shields with this guy because that's just something he does. If you let him, he will literally just trash shields. But it's very, very weird to build this guy right now. I think that his kit needs more fleshing out. I think that we need to mess around with builds first and then see what happens with him. And I think that's where <clears throat> Abyssal and stuff like that's going to come through. All right. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys disagree with anything down in the comments below. Um, this is pretty much it. Take it easy and peace out. Ha <laughs> ha.